upload for today is with regard to the issues that I mentioned in my previous upload and the light fragments that were damaged from a Royal Universal Lightworker um, since I gave birth in 2015. Um, now, as a spiritual sentient being that has experienced spiritual assault and the issue of culprits monopolizing and exploiting financially from my spiritual light fragments um the issue of practices and faith being abused is a huge concern that i feel has been disrespected um people changing their ideologies or philosophies or their faiths to um progress or evolve um, with respect for all circumstances and intentions is always positive. Um, those that have preoccupied with assaulting my spiritual identity and my royal bloodline that have not adhered to the codes or practices of faith um, are causing very serious insults and injuries. Um, the issue of identity theft is another matter um, my personal credentials as an educator that individuals have imposed upon as a qualified teacher, um, individuals falsifying information and trying to tarnish my identity um, with spurious, unsubstantiated claims um, that culminate as hate crime. So um, I'm tolerating these offences and I'm waiting since 2017 and 2006 for the relevant agencies and establishments to address these liabilities in society that have insulted um, the fields of education, that have insulted the field and expertise of um, sociological developments, legislative developments, spiritual developments. There have been so many facets to this entire situation. Um, especially with regard to health and well-being and recovery. So um, the issue of identity theft and people that have used my identity um, and that have imposed upon me and that have accessed my ancestral identity are all very serious concerns. So um, some individuals are overlooking the constitution um, legalities there in are those resolving or revolved or concerning um the issue of my child unlawfully separated from me this is their legalities that haven't been respected um i'm just highly concerned that there are so many facets to this entire situation that it culminate in a declaration of um, how standards are set for all human beings being overlooked and overridden and just disregarded and disrespected. So basically there's an insanity that I'm not comfortable with when individuals try to um, overlook the, f the facts, the hard facts. There's a simple hard fact that there's laws, constitutional laws being disrespected um, there has been faith and family disrespected, there has been ancestry disrespected, there has been human life disrespected, there has been good name disrespected and there has been good work disrespected. So um, the tactics of individuals trying to foolishly, in my opinion, um, make this an issue of one matter that is completely unsubstantiated and completely idiotic as far as I'm concerned when um, the facts from 2016 to the present date um, have been highlighting um, a few very serious matters that have not been addressed, acknowledged or resolved. So um, the avoidance and um, evasion tactic of um, highlighting an unsubstantiated spurious issue while not addressing the actual hard facts is just a concern that I have for um, the lay of the land at the moment. Um, it's very serious that my matrimony was disrespected. I, uh, I'm a Catholic, I'm born Catholic and my marriage was Catholic 
and um, I'm of the Recovery Fellowship. I respect people's privacy and confidentiality. I'm a humanitarian and there are individuals trying to make this an issue of a spurious and substantiated matter um, that has not anything to do with the hard facts of a situation of constitutional law um, being disrespected and humanitarian law being disrespected also. So the complaints procedures I commenced in January and February 2017 are based on hard facts, real hard facts of illegalities and unlawful actions and those actions um, that are unlawful have exacerbated and those that are seeking refuge in nonsense with artificial and falsifying um, information and pre presenting disinformation are disrespecting um, an experience of the constitution being disrespected and as a law-abiding citizen and as a humanitarian and as a recovery advocate um, the hypocritical nature of people um, trying to rewrite a matter into subject that isn't actually the issue for them to be discussing um, is really really silly um, it's really insulting to my child who has suffered for the past three years without my care and it's really insulting to the Hippocratic Oath. Now those are hard facts and it's really insulting to people of recovery and um, people recovering from all sorts of ailments. Um, people disrespecting the mind um, and psychology and psychoanalysis and psychiatry and abusing to assist offences of liabilities um, these are all huge issues at the moment. Um, the spiritual issues have occurred, as I've explained, um, but the lame effort of individuals to present that as a present issue when the ongoing initial issue of illegalities and unlawful actions not being addressed is the problem. And for a law-abiding citizen, of sanity and sobriety as a humanitarian and a recovery advocate and as an educator being disrespected simply due to people's nonsense isn't highlighting uh, evolutionary progress it's not it's not signifying development and those people that are disrespecting academia and anatomy and humanity and democracy are insulting all facets of society. All the pillars of society are being disrespected. Law, society, nature, family, all of the relevant factors that hold up all good goodwill, good nature, good good society, civil society, it's all being disrespected. And I'm just waiting since 2017 for my child, a missing person that I gave birth to in 2015. He's only a little boy. An emergency care order was enacted. And there wasn't any grounds for it. So it's very serious that the child that I gave birth to wasn't protected. And his faith as a Catholic has been disrespected. So I have huge concerns why there is such a delay for the relevant agencies and establishments not fulfilling their duties and obligations. As an educator of a clean track record, I find it astounding. So I'd appreciate the government addressing the issue of a missing child and the illegalities I'm experiencing due to fraudulence in society and nonsense. Nonsense.